scream. I got to jump. I got to holler. It's out of my comfort zone. But I got to do something drastic to prove to the devil he lost again. Open up your mouth. Clap your hands and give God an alive praise. Lord have mercy, cause the enemy put it to you and he thought you wouldn't do it. The enemy gave it to you and thought you couldn't live through it. But I came to help somebody tonight. I came to be your comrade and your colleague. Cause one of us can chase a thousand, but two of us, I can't get no witness, can put 10,000. Lord have mercy. I came to help you stay alive. I came to help you shout till you're alive. Lord have mercy. The enemy set it up. Thought that you were going to break down. The enemy set it up. Thought it was going to call you out of character. But God told me to tell you because you kept on praising him. Because you kept on jumping. Because you kept on hollering. Because you took for real that weeping may endure for a night but joy joy my grandmama said this joy that I have the world didn't give it when I think of the goodness I wish I had a church when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me my soul I can't hear nobody open up your mind I hear the Holy Ghost. I hear the Holy Ghost. Turn around and grab your neighbor behind you and shake that hand like you're going to shake it off and say, neighbor, I know that the enemy has rushed in like a flood. But say, neighbor, all I want you to know tonight is that you're coming out of this alive. Breast or no other kind of cancer. A bad relationship can't take you out. No money in the bank can't take you out. A marriage bust up can't take you out. God told me to tell you, you're coming out of this thing and you're coming out alive. I got to close. But the Holy Ghost said, cross the aisles and get you one more friend. Cross the aisles and get you one more friend. And shake that hand again and say, neighbor, I know that the enemy has rushed in like a flood. I know that the enemy has given it his best shot. Say, neighbor. What's my plan? Here it is. I will bless the Lord at all times. I ain't got no help. His praises. I got anybody else. Got a plan. Open up your mouth. Clap your hands. I will. Jessica. 
one. I'm going to bring you. It's my plan to bring you out alive. Open up your mouth. Clap your hands. For real. Get you somebody look like they got a plan. Get you somebody look like they got a plan. Get you somebody that look like they got a plan. Cause here go the end of the story. She cut off Sheba's head and she threw it over the city wall. The Bible said when Joab got Sheba's head, he blew a trumpet and told the soldiers retreat. I need to know if you holding on to somebody's hand that know how to blow a trumpet and make the devil retreat. Open up your mouth, clap your hands and dance. Make the devil take it back. You gon' leave me alone Cause I got a plan I got a plan I got a unusual thing but one woman 
who strategically said to herself, why should the whole city perish? One, one woman who talked to herself. I can come up with a solution. God is my helper. He gonna help me fix this. Why should the whole family fall apart? Why should other generations suffer? I can fix this. Where's the distraction? Who's the disturbance? Who's come to destroy? I got a plan. I can pray. I can fast. I can call those things that be not as though they are. I can endure. I can hold on. I can trust God with faith in a fight. And I'm going to come out of this alive. I'm going to ask the brethren to sit and let the ladies remain standing. Slip your hand into another lady's hand. What I really love about the story, Pastor Joy, is not only did she come out alive, But the whole city, the whole city came out alive. I don't know who I come for tonight. Don't give it up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't change your mind. You're the woman for the job. Get a plan. Pray over it. Then execute it. Perform. It's a performance the devil wants. Watch me perform while you're giving it your best shot. Know that sometimes something drastic has to take place in order for the fullness of the plan to be realized. Close your eyes, sisters, bow your heads and press into that hand you're holding. How great is our God. How great Somebody needs to take a deep breath because it don't look like it's coming together, but it's coming together. some feeling into that hand you're holding press into that hand you're holding dear God our father stand here tonight wondering how it's all going to turn out <laughs> for some woman it's been one thing after another after another Everything that could go wrong went wrong. 
For some of us, it was all we could do to go from day to day to get up and put one foot in front of another. But we're here tonight. You've said a word to encourage our hearts, to inspire us to keep on keeping on. And if the first plan don't work, give us enough discernment to come up with another one. And to keep believing that you've got everything in and under control. I'm holding on to another lady's hand tonight. You knew that she would be beside me. I don't profess to be the best at everything. But what I do know is that I believe God. As I press into her hand tonight. I'm going to believe you, God, to keep her alive. Keep her faith alive. Keep her worship alive. Keep her praise alive. Keep her prayers alive. Keep her dance alive. Keep her alive. Frustrate the enemy's plan. And keep her alive. Thank you for her. I believe the best for her is yet to come. I ask it tonight in the name of Jesus the Christ. Now drop those hands, don't clap them, and get them up in worship. How great sing is how good oh, we'll sing how great you're still alive you didn't go crazy you didn't cuss them out you're still alive how great come on ladies worship just a few more minutes what? tonight my heart how great is our God on one more time, get it up there. He's got a name above all names. He's worthy. He's worthy of My heart will sing. He's How great is our God? How great? Is our car. I know, I know it's, I know it, I know it's Wednesday night, but I sense a move of God here tonight. I'm going to ask Pastor Joanne if you'll give me liberty to flow, as I sense the Lord is having me to flow tonight. I want every woman in here who's been diagnosed with cancer, any kind of cancer to come. To come, any kind of cancer. Every woman in here who's had a diagnose, diagnosis of any kind of cancer come. I promise you God is here tonight. He's here. He's here. You have some oil, you have some oil, somebody get some oil. You coming out of this alive. You coming out of this alive. I don't care what stage it's in, you coming out of this alive. If God be God, you coming out of this alive. 
You're coming out alive. You're coming out alive. You're coming out alive. You're coming out alive. I know for some of you it's been generational, but you're coming out of this tonight alive. The Lord is going to touch you, whether it's going to be through the chemotherapy, the radiation, or whether he's going to do it miraculously. We're not going to mandate which method of healing he uses. All we know is that you're coming out of this alive. The enemy has taunted you with fear. You're so fearful you can't even pray. You can't even think of anything else but what the doctor said. But God's going to give you peace because you're coming out of this alive. I need some believing women. I don't need nobody that can't, but I need a house full of believing women. We gonna show the enemy he's under our foot. I got you where I want you. Stretch your hands this way, and you all keep hollering alive. Start hollering alive. You're coming out of this alive. <laughs>